Hi there and welcome to Hoo-Ha Sports Today, live from the Bad Cave. We will continue our look at the Premier League transfers with our second batch of clubs. But before we talk about the two Manchesters, Newcastle, New Boys Norwich and their rivals in the Championship last season, Queen's Park Rangers plus Stoke, we've got breaking news. Malaysia will not have any part in the 2014 World Cup. That's of course having no team in the final 32 in Brazil. They lost out to Singapore in last night's return qualifier. A packed house at the National Stadium in Bukit Jalil where 90,000 tickets were all sold out two days prior to the match. But the anticipation of coming back from the 3-5 defeat proved to be a mountain too hard to climb. As I watched it, Malaysia were not impressive at all, especially the back four and with an ineffective midfield. It ended one all on the night for a 6-4 win overall for the Singaporeans who have now the bragging rights as they qualify as Asia's top 20 for the group stage qualification. Okay, let's move on with our Premier League transfer update with another six clubs today, starting with Manchester City and ending with Stoke. First up, the big spenders from Eastlands. The big news is that they've landed Argentinian Sergio Aguero from Atletico Madrid for £35 million. Some say 32, others claim 38. But what's quite certain is that he will earn somewhere around £200,000 a week. And most players already at City aren't happy by the way players' salaries are negotiated. While the other new signings are Montenegro's Stefan Savic from Partizan and Arsenal's Gail Clichy for a combined total of £14.5 million. Next our neighbours, Manchester United. There were lots of rumours on who Sir Alex Ferguson was after, but thus far it has been David De Gea for Edwin van der Sar and goal, Ashley Young from Villa and somewhat an over-evaluation for Blackburn's Phil Jones, with the trio's accumulated fee at a staggering £15 million. Now, would it be enough for them to retain the Premiership? Hard to say, but we will be certain in true United fashion after the Christmas run of fixtures. Next, we have the Toon Army. Alan Pardieu has done some good deals from the French League, bringing in Johan Sabaye from Lille and Mehdi Abid from Lons B Team on a free transfer, and only having to fork out about four and a half million pounds for the much sought after Sylvain Marvo, which owner Mike Ashley will be happy to learn about that. And since West Ham have been relegated, a free move for Dembaba, a deal that was quite easy to reach. Before we bring you news on Norwich, who have been extremely busy, and also QPR and also Stoke, here's something we like to call, if you can do it, I can do it better. silly keeper and serves him right too. Luckily, the penalty taker knows how to cartwheel. Okay, back to more transfers in the Premier League and we spend some time with newly promoted Norwich. They don't have deep pockets, so buying smart and buying lesser-known names has been good and bad. But survival is the objective, so the carries have brought in Steve Morrison from Millwall, Bradley Johnson from Leeds, Anthony Pilkington from Huddersfield, Richie Lalette, who is on loan from Manchester United, Elliot Burnett, costing £1.5 from Brighton, a pretty, pretty decent purchase of James Wan from Everton and Spurs Kyle Norton on a loan signing. All the deals uh, for, uh, will probably cost them about £7 million. And let's just hope the squad is strong enough to keep them in for another season. Next, we move to newly promoted side Queen's Park Rangers. No significant movements, but they have been coughed up some £1.5 million to bring in some auxiliary players. So that means we will round up our second batch of Premier League teams with Stoke. They too are just looking to strengthen their squad from last season, which is pretty much well poised for a mid-table challenge. They brought in keeper Daniel Backman from Austria and poor old Jonathan Woodgate from Spurs on a free transfer. If Woodgate can give them at least 15 to 20 full match appearances, it would count as a great buy, knowing his injury problems. And that will be it for this week. We will bring you the final batch of teams on Monday's episode. And since this week all talk has been about showboating, well, here's one that doesn't involve a player, a manager or even a referee. And the one in the limelight is the medic. Until Monday, you have a great sporting weekend and it's bye for now. Nog een keer dat moment. Vierde gier en Monsma 
hobbelt de bal richting doel. Zou ook over de doellijn zijn gegaan. Maar daar is de verzorger van de treffers. En die voorkomt de 2-1 voorsprong voor NEC.